The, the project is a, a stolen generation memorial. It's really a site where people can come and have some time out and acknowledge other people's pasts uh, and the awful things that occurred as a result of you know, former government policies in relation to the stolen generation. But it's also a place to reflect and have some time out, pay respects as well, and you know, a reminder of this awful um, period of history in Australia. My creative philosophy when it comes to my practice, the space will dictate a lot of the time the type of work that goes in and whether it's you know in, in a public space, an institutional gallery or whatever. So I usually like to make works that are you know relating to space and environment. For this case uh, with the Stolen Generation it was about combining something that could be used as a memorial and something contemporary and also having a, a kind of male and female uh, representation. So you know using the spears to acknowledge a male space and then the cool one to acknowledge the matriarchal and, and the power of uh, women and, and children and, and of course um, to acknowledge men and, and women and children that were you know, removed as, as a result of these government policies. Oh look there's many people that inspire me creatively, too many to list but Look, you know, there's many Aboriginal people, uh, and we're not talking about artists, we're just talking about people that have persevered and, and um, you know, stood up for their rights, and whether it's, you know, women, men, children, um, it doesn't matter what community, um, it's anyone over the world that, you know, stands up for the right to be counted, and, and, uh, and other artists that use their work to have a voice and, and make something uh, that they're passionate about. I get a lot of delight out of letting people know that I you know, didn't go to art school or, or, and didn't have those opportunities to do that. And there were early stages when I was at high school that you know, I was told my art was shit or it wasn't good enough. You've got to have self-belief, I think. It's really important to have a go at something because at the end of the day, there's nothing lost from having an experience. And if you know, this career path that you, you, you're interested in doing, then pursue it. And if it doesn't work out, then it's nothing lost. It's an experience that will, you know, surely gain to something else. You know, I, I did many jobs before being an artist. And, and, and the one thing I always did was, I had this you know, passion to keep creating. I suppose another aspect of my practice is I'm really interested in film and, and that was something I, I was definitely pursuing if I wasn't an artist.